So such that is, let's see what's coming our way, and it better be good. Um, and, um, you know, let's hope the pandemic is over soon. I don't think so, but still, <laughs> you know, because it kind of changes our love life in so many ways. Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands, releasing something and time to choose something, something else, right? So let's see what we release and what we choose. What is the path that's presented to us? We have the Tower and the Eight of Swords. We release something with a boom. What's going on? What is exactly exploding here? Let's see. The Tower and the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. Maybe a third party situation. Here's something that is not for us. We want nothing to do with that kind of vibration, right? So let's see. Um, bottom of the deck, five of pentacles in reverse, and I have the five of wands in reverse. Oh, I love this. And the ace of pentacles, and the six of wands, and the nine of cups. Okay. Oh, that is victory. Um, Sagittarius, absolutely, that was rejection, and there were fights and conflict. We do have the five of wands, five of pentacles. We might have also some of us been uh, a little bit confused and struggling with, should I make an offer or not? That's the Ace of Pentacles, right? Should I start something new or not? But guess what? Victory and wish fulfillment as the overall energy. Um, with the situation that you really struggled, really struggled. So let's see what this is all about. I love the Nine of Cups. It is at the end of the day, no matter what, your heart uh, will be filled with joy, right? And Six of Wands, uh, it's um, victory over struggle. So yeah, I love this. So let's see past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. <clears throat> let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And we go with the bottom of the deck. Mm, Hierophant in reverse might be, might be a separation we are going through and we are... Um, you know, claiming some victory here. Um, so such that are you kidding me? Oh my god, such is in the past on your side we do have the Emperor and we do have the magician. I mean what a play of force, right? Um the Emperor of course Aries energy, but I'm kind of sensing that this is more your energy and it's one of coming from a place of power and a place of magic. Uh, from a place of manifestation and intent, uh, clarity of the mind, knowing exactly where you're going, knowing exactly who you deal with, and having a plan, right? That's both energies are really about having a long term plan and knowing exactly, right? It's a lot of, uh, it's interesting, it's a lot of confidence, a lot of knowing, a lot of um, vision into this, and a lot of calculation and data, right? <laughs> Oh, it's interesting such a powerful energy and and I'm, i was kind of surprised honestly but hey uh nothing surprises us anymore uh because the overall energy is the energy of five of wands five of wands is internal struggle is oh, i don't know maybe a bit of confusion maybe a bit of you know the mind is saying something and the heart is saying something and yet in the past such powerful um uh, vision and mind and clarity about about this uh, love connection and about this person, right? Now this person of yours, they have the Page of Cups. Definitely they made you an offer. Um, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, maybe they were unstable in some way. Four of Wands is, um, you know, um, also people from different roots than yours, different commu community than yours. Um, you know, coming a long way from, uh, you know, from uh, long distances kind of and not part of your community, right? A little bit different again. Different background, different culture, and still with the Page of Cups, right? Like a kid, they gave you an offer, and it was a genuine one, um, a new beginning of of, um, of some sort, and, and a beautiful one, kind of, um, kind of innocent in its own way. Um, but such guys, get what? Guess what? We do have the world and the justice. It ended with probably a divorce, a settlement, uh, a decision, a final decision, and it was something that one of you wanted, right? Uh, one of you wanted. 
uh, they might have been apologetic about uh, this marriage going in flames. Five of Cups, um, sorry, Page of Cups is the apologies card, but an energy. But Four of Wands in reverse is definitely about a marriage going all over the place, right? And um, such a powerful energy between the two of you. And I'm kind of sense such dice that it was you at some point saying, you know what, this is, this is kind of over. Uh, I'm manifesting something new. I'm taking control and I know where I go. Right, that's the world, and that's a justice. Um, a final decision from a place of power, and does look like yours. So there, that energy was a little bit shaky, I, I would say. Um, so Sagittarius, where are we right now? We do have the Four of Swords, and we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So we might be thinking of going back. Maybe that is why the confusion a little bit, and the energy of new beginnings, right? And wish fulfillment. Um, probably we want to start something over with this person. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This, and this is the energy I thought I was on my path, but maybe actually, you know, when we stop and we, we look back, that's exactly the energy of Eight of Cups. You know, it's like, mm, maybe, you know, and we start to question the destination and we look back. At, um, but I love the perspective on it, such that it's Four of Swords is the energy of the mind, it is uh, planning, strategizing, healing, is the energy of quieting the mind and the noises around it so that we understand, should we uh, take this person back or go back to them, you know, uh, when we stop and we look back, it's either we decide to continue or we decide to go back and I'm kind of sensing this is your energy at this time. Now this person of yours, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn, and we do have the Queen of Swords in reverse. They might be angry a bit, unstable a bit, uh, stopped in their tracks. Um, the energy of I cannot move and because of it a lot of frustration and anger. They might be a little bit, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Uh, they might be harsh with their words at this time, um, but it's because they hurt right um and they might be hurtful in exchange um you know um because they don't know how to handle this um stagnation and also this insecurity right they do have an offer for you but there is no way they can give it at this time um and i imagine that is also no communication we have many energies of rejection here many energies of uh of um a bridge that was broken Right, between the two of you and uh, quite a cold form of ending right with the justice and the emperor it's very calculated move um, that happened between the two of you and I don't know if it caught them by surprise but it does feel like um, you know still dealing with the frustration of, of, of the news now mutual energies between the two of you we do have the seven of wands in reverse and we have the nine of swords in reverse course we need some peace of mind uh, we need some healing of the mind we need to stress less at this time and um, and that is this energy of um, you know kind of abandoning a little bit seven of wands in reverse is I'm, I'm not fighting I'm no longer fighting for it you know I go with the flow uh, for my own sanity and peace of mind because it's paired with the nine of swords you know it's kind of I need to allow and accept and um, kind of breathe, right? Um, and it's, um, I believe both of you at this time, um, right, when I look at these energies, both of you, there is a need um, to kind of, and it's, I, I believe you are acting on it and they are acting on it, but they are one step behind. Um, you know, still dealing with the first stage of, um, of a morning. So, um, yeah about to give up it's interesting somebody's about to give up when you stop to look at the past a little bit right uh we stopped and are we are looking back such that is at least the energy on your side of course you take one that resonates we have one angry and one maybe a little bit you know contemplating the past and it's um and whatever was brought oh my god isn't it beautiful such size um the outcome of this all, we do have the lovers and the knight of swords. This is action and love. This is love coming your way. This is a choice in love coming your way. This is an offer of love, body, mind and soul kind of love. It might be a little bit rushed, uh, but hey, they want to rush in such that somebody here is 
um, kind of lacking patience when it uh, when it comes to you, you know, to to give you an offer. And you are loved. I mean, if you are wondering, and that was your question, well, love is coming your way. Uh, now this person, Three of Swords in Reverse and the Page of Swords in Reverse, they are absolutely healing over here. Uh, the main focus is on it. Uh, they are making progress, right? Because we have them quite angry because of stagnation and insecurity and they might have um, financial uh, struggles of their own. Um, and now moving forward, right? They are one step towards healing. Three of Swords in Reverse and the Page of Swords probably stalking but I'm I'm more sensing the energy of they are healing in silence that's exactly the energy um, staying away and not having the communication uh, uh, you know or not uh, feeling not being in the mood to talk about right but healing nonetheless three of swords right and guarding their heart and I just love this such that is mutual energies between the two of you, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is a strong bond. This this is a stable bond. Um and I'm I'm kind of sensing because we have the lovers, Knight of Swords, and then King and Queen. It is a very powerful connection. Might be money or a family money might be entangled together. Maybe you have a business together or that is something that is uh, keeps you bonded. Uh, financially that is this energy but also because we have the lovers that is love coming your way and they still love you Sagittarius and I'm kind of believe that what makes them happy is this new beginning and this offer and this um, success with you they are not giving up on you uh, but I'm sensing uh, Sagittarius that we might not be right at that place we are looking at the past but I'm not I'm not sure we are moving, but love is coming your way, that's for sure. I'm not sure you want to go back to their way, but uh, we're going to look at the guidance here. Yeah. Might be, might be some parents involved, you know, somebody saying, oh, you should make up your mind, come on, don't make mistakes, you know. Um, maybe that's why you are... Um, um, questioning this it's like somebody is telling you, you have the four of swords eight of cups in reverse right now you know and four of swords is like can I can you please shut up you know <laughs> um, because I'm I'm contemplating something here it's quieting the noise and and now we have this kind of mom and dad for some of you energy or somebody of significance in your life saying ah you should think twice you know um, because they love you that's and that's that's the truth somebody here loves you such that is um and they have emotions for you and they want to rush in um still hurt but um still in love with you okay now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we are supposed to do it's not an easy situation i know well the universe is kind of acknowledging codependency addictions are affecting your romantic uh, life and we do have unrequ unrequited love. That is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Such that is, you might be codependent with somebody. Maybe we don't no longer have love, but we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and you have flirt, love, and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies, energy to others. Um, might be Gemini you are dealing with for some of you, Aries. Have I called out the signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? You have all the signs, more or less. Uh, but hey, that is codependency, speaking of money entangled together, unrequited love, new love, and flirt. So we are guided. We are guided towards a new love, a new person that might have, um, you know, offered you um, their time and love. So. Now let's see something else, okay? We have reparenting yourself. So that is something that we need to learn. That is something that we need to teach ourselves. That is some self-care to be had, just like the parent would um, care for his or her child. And this is also about nurturing your inner child. And we do have commitment. So reparenting yourself and commitment, it kind of um, tells me such is that we need to um, learn something new about commitment or have a new vision or, um, you know, um, nurture a form of commitment that might be different than the one you had. 
rewiring when it comes to commitment, right? The way you see things. And we do have new love and soulmates. New love and soulmates. The, the new person in your life or the person you have in mind or the one that stirred your romantic feelings. We have here Sagittarius having this new love, new feelings. Um, they might be your soulmate. And now let's... Um, oh, I'm going to take this one. Okay. Let's have some general advice. I was about to uh, take the one with the energies to put back into the flow. But actually, I am uh, feeling... Uh, drawn to this. So Sagittarius, we do have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So somebody feels like playing here. Well, they, it is a time of, um, of powerful energies for you. Oh, we have two. Beautiful. We do have peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Sagittarius. So life force and peace. And we have ear chakras. Notice messages that, that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So that, that is something that you need to hear at this time. Probably something that will bring you peace and will, um, you know, awaken your life force, your driving passion. Such says the universe wants you to know all is well. So this is what you're getting. Everything is happening exactly as it is to, supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. And bottom of the deck, cut your cords. I am so not surprised because you do have codependency and unrequited love. So ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to, fe uh, to fear um, that stem from past relationships, freeing you from disruptive patterns. So codependency and destructive, disruptive patterns, that's exactly the same, right? And we need to get free from them to be released. So cut the cords. Cut the cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachment to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from disruptive, destructive patterns. I'm going to put that with codependency and reparenting. There is something there that we, there is a message for somebody. Um, right, we need to kind of identify and then free ourselves. Uh, but hey, it takes perspective. It takes stepping back from a situation. It takes a little bit of time. I know, I know. Um, so such size, new love. At least this is the guidance we are having right now. So hey, please take care, please stay safe and come see me next time. Love you, take care, bye.